This movie illustrates the way we think an RNA polymerase transcribes a human gene. It comes with a health warning. Your tutors probably believe something different, namely that a polymerase diffuses to a promoter, initiates and transcribes by tracking like a locomotive down the gene. I will suggest the polymerase is fixed to something I'm going to call a factory and that the DNA moves instead. In other words, this molecular machine uses the energy in nucleotide triphosphates to move DNA through the polymerase and not to move the polymerase along the template, as we were taught. Here, this promoter diffuses to the polymerase, initiates, and then the fixed enzyme reels in the template as the transcript is extruded. On termination, the template detaches, the polymerase exchanges with the soluble pool, and the transcript diffuses to the cytoplasm. Here, this factory is the active site of transcription. A car factory is efficient because it contains the necessary materials for making cars. A transcription factory is much the same. For example, a nucleoplasm contains a soluble pool, about one micromolar, of polymerase, but transcription occurs on the surface of structures like this simply because the local concentration is a th thousandfold higher. As I rerun the movie, note how the structure changes from moment to moment. Loops appear, change size, and disappear. And here the loops are tethered through engaged polymerases or a transcription factor. This movie shows that this particular attachment is permanent, but a real factor binds to real DNA for only a second or so. It also showed this promoter moving in a highly directed manner, but in reality it's going to diffuse in a constrained random walk. This technical term means that it diffuses for a minute or so throughout the volume shown here, when it might visit the factory, but not further away because it's trapped in a corral of surrounding chromatin fibers. But occasionally it escapes to a neighboring corral where it diffuses for another minute or so, perhaps to visit another factory, and so on. But this structure also determines function. And this is how we think the most important regulatory elements, enhancers and silencers, work. Both are active transcription units, and so must be attached at some stage to a factory, and a sequence can act as one or the other, depending on the circumstances. Just as different factories make Hondas and Mercedes, our factories also specialize in transcribing different groups of genes. Here, these two promoters might use the same transcription factors so that this transcription unit is tethering this promoter close to this factory, enhancing the frequency with which it might initiate. But if this promoter uses a different factor concentrated perhaps in a factory over here, the same transcription unit is now tethering the promoter away from the factory, thereby silencing it. So that this transcription unit both enhances and silences the activity of this unit, and it's going to act as one or the other, depending on proximity to the right kind of factory, and the concentrations of the relevant factors, which of course are going to change during development. In summary, I presented you with a model for how a polymerase might work, how genes might be regulated, and how the genome is organized.